me and Michael made our way over to John's house and we made sure that we got there nice and early as we had a bit of a drive ahead of us. Absolutely awesome doggo. Gotta stop for quick pats before hitting the road. As you can see, we're still driving on the trails by the time that the sun starts to come up. The plan is to drive to a boat ramp, take a short boat over to the island, meet with Leone, one of John's friends, and then head out for an awesome day spearfishing. Gearing up. Alrighty, so it's early doors. It's about 6 a.m. and we are heading out for a spear. We've got Michael from Immersion who will be joining us and then we've got John from the Waka family. So I'll be chucking that up in the description. Links for their channels. Go check them out. It's proper Fiji. And uh, yeah, this is what we got. I can't wait to get out and dive. These guys are absolutely awesome. You might recognize Michael from the Immersion channel. That I've done a few videos with and John from the Waka family. There's the only absolutely awesome. Straight into the water. The only drops us on a spot. We're not using GPS or anything, just this guy uses his seafaring abilities to drop us on reef that he knows is good. There's plenty of big fish down off the edge of this reef, but they just didn't want to come up to the surface. Likely suspects, red bass, midnight snapper, and a whole heap of moo. Here I actually managed to sneak onto a ledge, pay little attention to these fish, look away from them. I'm also watching my landing, make sure I don't crush any coral. But just yeah, absolutely amazing to see these guys swimming freely. And this is one of the few areas of Fiji that we've encountered that you can take red bass and it's common leads in here. Get a shot into this fella and it's not my best shot. He's going absolutely berserk. I've got him on a gut shot and yeah, he's obviously feeling the hurt. I tried bringing him in as quickly as possible without having him tear off. As I grab his tail, he actually manages to tear off. I go for the gill plate and before I get a proper grip, he struggles out and away he goes. I'm gutted. I hate it when this happens. With no time to waste, I'm on to my next dive and look who we see off in the top right hand corner. That is a massive GT. Now to give you a bit of perspective, I'm on a single band and my gun shoots about 8 meters on the single. I hit the fish in the cheek, that's how far away he was. Check those three bull sharks coming in on him immediately. Absolutely wicked encounter, scalloped hammerhead, my first. Here we have a double lined mackerel, gets lined up and gets shot. Absolutely stoked. These are genuinely one of the best tasting fish in Fiji. If you see them, smack them. Holy shit, I had like three massive bull sharks just come straight on me. Should be sick footage. Yeah, I am. Um, I did something really, really stupid in the water to, to make that happen. So I had a huge GT come in on me and I took a shot. I was on a single band and the, the spear just poked the, the fish. Yeah didn't like do him any harm at all and as soon as that happened I got my instant karma because these four, three bulls just went Vroom. and then I've just had a scallop hammerhead just come right up to me which was so sick he was like on the bottom and I filmed him a little bit and then I carried on doing my own thing and I turned around and he'd come right up like mid water with me there's just an absolute abundance of fish life hanging on the edge of these reefs and you can see coral trout, moo, all the usual suspects I'm being really picky today. We've got a nice grey reef. Funnily enough, we actually encountered another shark that we didn't expect to see on the reef. Here's a Māori sea perch coming in for a view and I just miss him. Absolutely devastated, would have been a good fish. Like I said, this area is cigatera free. Here we have a oceanic white tip shark chilling on a reef. We actually saw a bigger one of these and decided to move spots. Crazy to see these guys on the reef like that. Never ever seen them outside of blue water. A quick shot on a Japanese large eye brim, but unfortunately he comes off. I go down for another dive, and this is a really productive spot. The visibility isn't great and it's a bit sharky, but I go for this one spot snapper. 
put him in and he manages to get himself tangled up. I was near the end of my breath hold so I went up to the surface as I was away from everyone else. As you can see, quite a few sharks here, um, which is why I went up for another breath hold. Um, and yeah, this white tip really wasn't phased by me in the slightest. So I kind of had to just make sure that he wasn't going to nip my ankle or nip my wrist as I try freeing this fish. I've heard some horrible stories here in Fiji and yeah, white tips definitely aren't friendly. As you can see, my poor one spot snapper has been absolutely taxed, I've lost the rear end of him, which is just a shame because they're a delicious fish. Poor fella, he's had a rough day. Moving in on a different spot after I've landed the f snapper in the boat, I come across this coral trout. Bang! I don't know what he was thinking, free swimming out of the reef towards me like that. Yeah, silly, silly passion fruit coral trout. As you can see, sharks in the distance. As always, this is a really, really sharky part of the country. And um, diving near the boat or diving in with the buddy is definite here. Here's Michael just checking out some reef structure. Sweet lip, and did you see that? The little fish that just swam outside of his mouth. It's a little cleaner fish. In there, taking care of all of his parasites. After coming up, I observed that Leone has only gone and shot himself a lovely mackerel. Absolutely delicious fish, and yeah, good on him, good shot. And this is the first of many. I see this mackerel moving away from me and instead of taking a Hail Mary shot on it, I let him go away with the hope that he'll come back and I'll get a better shot at him. Sure enough, I'm chilling in some bait and these two mackerel come in. Bang. Thank you very much. Absolutely screaming the reel. It's great to see this guy going for gold. John swims down and decides to put a second shot in it. I don't mind at all. It just helps get the fish on the boat. As long as the fish gets landed, we're happy people. Awesome. A lot of people get a bit too proud about second shots, but for me, I don't care. As long as the fish is on the boat and then we can eat it, I'm happy as Larry. Awesome Mackie. And then immediately after I just finished reloading my gun, didn't even get my wrap set up and his mate came back for some more. So I put a shot on him. Ensuring that we had mackerel for everyone. It wouldn't be a spearfishing trip in Fiji without a couple of walu in the esky. Watch your fingers on these guys after seeing the back to basics videos. I'm always super cautious now holding mackerel. More sharks, Michael doing his thing. Hanging out, getting some deeper dives in. John's hunting on the reef as well. We come across this awesome structure towards the end of the day and it just houses heaps and heaps of barracuda. So we've got pick handle, chevron, and great barracuda. All just chilling. I took a shot in this barra. Try taking him up to the surface. I think he's on. I thought I had a nice good holding shot, but this guy's making so much movement that he manages to tear himself off. Uh, it's a good thing as well, the sharks were en route and I was kind of exposed. Here's Michael looking for some mackerel. Gets down on the bottom, discovers a nice little soldier fish. Boom, takes a long shot on it. What an absolute shot. If you can shoot small reefies like that at distance, you know, you're honing your accuracy. In. Good job, mate. Next up, I dive down and we're all getting pretty gassed to be honest. We've got this beautiful eagle ray to the right hand side and then these barracuda come on in. Go for the old two in one. I was actually really disappointed with myself because if I tried lining up a three in one shot, but it just didn't come off. But still, you should be super excited. That's two fish, one spear, and that's that's just awesome. Leone puts a shot out wide just to scare off a shark that's coming in. Um, yeah, there was just grey reefs hanging down on the bottom. It is amazing to see how much these sharks hated the four of us on the surface, showcasing a really strong stance and intimidating stance. So the shark stayed down on the bottom, we stayed on the top. 
we headed back and we got back really really late and it was dark so we didn't do much filming but we had a cracking feed and a wicked day out thanks michael and thanks john and leone thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you have make sure you hit that like button subscribe and stay tuned for more spearfishing content stay wet stay fed guys catch ya